My name is Emma Herbelsheimer. I'm 27 and I live in Brooklyn. I'm an animator. I work from home in advertising and I ride my e-bike around as blonde on bike. I work in advertising, so anything from billboards to social content to big campaigns. My favorite project that I ever worked on was for Nike. I designed a digital out-of-home campaign for both uh, New York City and Los Angeles, where I got to design content for these huge screens for the first ever self-lacing shoe. I'm really proud of that piece of work. When I first got started, first seeing my billboards it was weird because you don't understand how quickly they get sent from your computer to the board itself. We'll be working on it right up until the last minute. And two minutes later, it's on the board in Times Square. Mistakes and everything. On the side, I run a small brand called Mama. Mama is a paper flower brand that I started during the pandemic. I was introduced to paper flowers when I was a kid. My mom would take my sister and I to Belgium. And during the evenings, she would make these beautiful paper flowers for us. And every morning, all of the kids in the town would go out onto the beach, stick the flowers, in the sand and uh, we would sell them for seashells. So that was one of my fondest childhood memories. It stuck with me, it had a real impression on me and during the pandemic I couldn't see my mom. So it's one way that we connected. So I taught myself how to make these paper flowers and one flower used to take me about two to three hours. Cutting every petal, painting them, rubbing them with chalk. But when I was in graduate school, I took on a 100 day project where I made 100 <laughs> flowers in 100 days, <laughs> while working full-time, while studying full-time. And I got myself down to one of these takes about 30 minutes now. Every Sunday, I drop five to seven flowers in a flower, sh flower drop, I call them. And I put them up on my site and people buy them. And 10% of the proceeds go to charity. It's very experimental. I make what I make. I don't have like a huge following, but I'm finding that the people who love them really love them and really connect to it and trying to find my voice more and more. When I was out on a morning walk, I saw a girl on an e-bike and I never thought that I could ride an e-bike. I see them around town all the time. I see Super 73s everywhere. But I'd never thought that was something that I would relate to or want to put down like $1,300 on. For a bike, it's not a small chunk of change, but I saw this girl doing it and she looked like a badass and something clicked and I was like, I want that. <laughs> Finally, in the middle of an all-nighter, I was like, fuck it, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm actually, I'm gonna commit to a bike. And the day I graduated, the bike showed up and it changed my life pretty dramatically after that. I took the bike out the first day that I got it with a friend. He took a picture of me and he was like, you should consider putting this online. And I work in animation, like I said, I'm usually behind the scenes. I'm not used to putting myself out there. I have a very quiet online presence. I really only post about my flowers on the side. So I was scared, but I put it up and it got like 50 likes in the first day, something like that. And I was like, oh, people are interested in seeing this experience, okay. So I just started posting pictures and people started reaching out to me I started connecting with other people in the community and I don't really have a fully formed like strategy with what I'm trying to do with this. I'm just documenting my experience and hopefully it also like that one girl that I saw on the street, I hope to be that for other girls too.